Today we're joined by Sarah. Hi Sarah, thank you so much for coming to Russell Kema for us today. Hi Nima, I appreciate it. Thank you so much for having You're me. You're very welcome. So tell us today a little bit about your project. Our project of Shiano is in Marjan Island. Uh, you know, we are on the edge of Island 4. Uh, directly facing the casino. Island 3, which is on Island 3, you know, which is completely owned and operated by Wynn Resorts and Casino. So we are in a very prime location because we are an oceanfront project. So we have the direct sea and casino in front of us. And on the right hand side, we have a direct beach access for our residents only. Um, it's an estimate, you could say exactly edge to edge between us and the casino. It's an estimate 382 meter distance, sea distance only. Uh, it's five minute boat ride maximum from our project Oceano to the casino in safe. And in terms of the units, what sort of units are available? Okay, so we have the one to four bedroom apartments. Okay. We have the penthouses, of course, five bedroom plus mates, and we have our Sky Villa units. And tell us a little bit about the building amenities. What would say be the five things that you would say at the top of the list? The top of the list, of course, you have the wellness sanctuary. And when we say wellness sanctuary, of course, it's a big umbrella. You know, you have the spa, you have the steam, the sauna, the yoga room. You have the gymnasium, you have the kids' play area. We have two infinity pools actually overlooking the casino. You have uh, the library, you have a cigar lounge, you have a driver's lounge. So we have more amenities than your typical uh, building or anywhere else in terms of facilities. You don't find the library much everywhere. You don't find the driver's lounge everywhere. So yeah. So who do you think your project would appeal to? It's a very niche kind of project, to be honest. See, we have just in total, Oceano has 206 units in total. Mm -hmm. Just, you could say 206 residents. So it's very exclusive. And you said most of those are sold already? Yes, most of, the, okay. mo most of those are sold. So get in fast if you want to buy in this project. <laughs> yes, actually, not much left, not many units left. So it's for those clients who are looking for some kind of exclusivity, you know? It's not your typical uh, building where you have a thousand units or so. No, you have your privacy. As I said, you have your secluded shore. You have unobstructed view of the sea in the casino. So. It's for those, and you have a boat ride. This boat ride is provided by us to our residents, as example, you know. So uh, it's a lot of additional facilities and additional to give our kind of client. So in terms of obviously what you've explained already, you, you explain that it's kind of like a niche product, very high quality. Okay. So let's touch upon that. Tell us about what you think makes it high quality and why it's high quality. Uh, first off, it's a fully marbled project. Uh, correct, it's a lot of work effort and cost honestly put in the project itself it's a fully marbled project uh, we have d1 architects and engineers handling our architecture and engineering they're obviously one of the top in the region um, they're an international firm as well and we have hba which i'm also personally very proud of hirsch bedner associates is officially ranked number one in the world when it comes to hospitality interior design they're also very selective with the projects they take and they are our partners when it comes to interior design so uh, both of these firms actually are the biggest names, you know, in the market. So we are proud to be there, to have them as our partners. Uh, I mean, this is your basic, your main guarantee that this project is going to turn out to be obviously. Anything uh, unique in terms of the fixtures and fittings in the units? Yes, uh, we could talk about the kitchen appliances, okay. uh, as example, uh, fully equipped by yep. Miele, the German brand. Miele, so, yeah. okay. Yeah, so you have the So again, high end. High end, uh, it's also, if not the best, it's yeah. the best Miele. Yeah. It, um, I fully equipped uh, dishwasher, washing machine, coffee machine, oven, stove, all of it. Uh, as example, the washroom fittings and fixtures are by Jesse, the Italian brand. Okay. So, yeah. So they have selected pretty much all of the premium fixtures, fittings to go in, yes. which then justifies the additional price, price yes price point that you're looking at and not to mention the uh, marble as example either mostly either statuario marble or pietra grey you know pure the pure italian one yes. imported from italy i mean in itself we all know statuario marble as example costs uh, i believe at an average of 900 dirhams per square meter as opposed to porcelain and tiles which cost 60 so to 100 dirhams per square meter. So when I say that a lot of cost has actually been in put into it, no matter how much I try to explain or elaborate on that, honestly, it's an understatement. Obviously, it's a lot of... So, Ras al Khaimah is really trying to attract, obviously, international brands yes. um, in terms of, you know, the likes of Nobu, um, etc. In terms of restaurants, 
or facilities like that, what can we expect in your project? In Oceano Sea, we have 12 retail shops. Okay. 12 retail shops, but not for sale, for leasing only. And uh, that's actually purposely so that we can maintain the quality, the standard mm -hmm. of what we have there. You know, we have to make sure that it's a five star, high quality, whether it's a Michelin star restaurant or so. You know, it has to be uh, synonymous with the kind of quality which we have inside Oceano, of course. So uh, you could say, for example, uh, we're still in talks, of okay. course, not yet uh, publicly 100% announced, but as example, the majority of our investors, a lot of them are either Russian or Russian speaking. Uh, so we would be having, of course, a Michelin star, five star uh, Russian <laughs> restaurant. Uh, we have a lot of Europeans and all that. So we're making sure that we're catering to these, uh, you know, to certain, of course, nationalities, mostly most of those who've actually invested in our project. Okay. Within this caliber, I mean. So I think like, we've covered in quite a few areas. Is there anything that you feel that investors would want to know or an end user would want to know about your project that we haven't covered? Whether you're an end user or an investor, uh, it's a purely residential project. Okay. And we are one of the very few over there actually in Rack uh, which are purely residential, meaning you can do whatever you want with the unit. Okay. Short-term rental, long-term rental, Airbnb, it's up to you as an investor. Okay, suppose you want to take it as an end user, okay? Perhaps you visit the casino twice or three times a year or... Yeah. Which, I mean, whenever you want. And then you can rent it all year round, you know, Airbnb, short-term rental. So it's purely residential, meaning whatever you can do. Yes. You can do whatever. Yeah, a key selling point. At least they're not it's tied down to a hotel or a hotel or something where it yeah. is. Yeah. So this alone is actually a huge plus. Okay. It's a huge benefit. Amazing. Yeah. So let's touch on the fact that the, this project's nearly sold out. Do you have yeah. anything else in the pipeline? Of course. Actually, oh, uh, better late than never. That's new news for me today. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's great news, actually. Uh, better late than never for those investors who missed out with us. We are we have our next project, okay. which we'll also be launching very soon, hopefully by uh, October maximum. Uh, it's also going to be in Marjan Island. Um, and it's just, again, once again, it's a top-notch, uh, very upscale, very luxurious project, matching the same quality we have with Oceano and hopefully with a larger, with a bigger amount of units and all that. Hopefully when uh, we have all the details internally, we'll be sharing it as oh, well. We look forward to receiving them. them. Yes, for sure. So yeah, we do have a pipeline, next project also in Marjan Island. Wow, uh, definitely the developers are happy with what's happening in Marjan Island. Of course, of course. And for those investors, I mean, there's still time, obviously. Uh, going further, we all know that the prices in Marjan Island are gonna be increasing, right? Uh, so if uh, any investor would want to invest, now is the right time before another hike, before another uh, increase in prices. Perfect. So, Great information today. Thank you so much for joining Shane. us today. I really appreciate it. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Thank, Thank you. you so much for having me. It was lovely, actually. A um, nice trip to Russell Kima. Very nice trip. I've been coming here uh, very often, actually. I'd like to invite you over, actually, to our site if you'd like to Absolutely. come sometime. Absolutely, we would love to. Um, we're also one of the very first projects which have started construction already, and we are ahead of time, thankfully. So you can come, I can show you around. That's great and news. I'll schedule as well. Yes. Thank Amazing. You. Yeah. Completion is within the third quarter of 2026, at least six to seven months before the casino, which will be in early 2027. So I'll be inviting you over for coffee. Some additional selling points. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so Thank much. Thank you so much, Neva. Appreciate it.